know um, from day one when you start hearing the images or when you hear about you know those type of images that you're actually going to see uh, one start to you know you just actually view the images not to actually see the views so for you it's just the main purpose there is to be the voice of those children so for us from uh, Service, I think you know to be in court today and to hear the judge actually make uh, you know a comment to say that you know we actually are the voices for the children now and to be able to receive a 15 year direct imprisonment just makes our job for us easier because now we know there's a message for each and every South African citizen I mean today I think it's an example not just for South Africa but for the world to say that you know South Africa and the South African Police Service, the Garden of Justice and the NGOs, um, you know, we're not going to tolerate any um, predator. So um, sitting in court already, you know, you get goosebumps because from the moment, um, the day when I received the phone call from Chief Inspector Van Easter informing me that there is a perpetrator in South Africa and the, you know, the fact that he is at this stage viewing um, horrendous uh, child abuse images of torturing of babies and suffocating. You know, at that stage you just want to jump out of your chair and you want to find this guy. So yes, from all the emotions, viewing the images, still three years later sitting in court, getting your goosebumps while the judge actually then, you know, sentenced this uh, suspect, makes it all worthwhile. Okay, great, thanks.